there. Uh, I wanted to tell you about the new Markdown plugin. It's version 2. It's a new major version. In addition to importing and exporting Markdown files and converting them within a project, you can now also create a TOC from a folder structure. That means that you can import a documentation set into Flare, click a button to build a TOC, and you almost have your entire documentation set ready to go. Another new cool thing is that there's a built-in Markdown editor if you don't have one already or if you want to try out what the Markdown files you have would look like when imported into Flare. There's also a bunch of new settings you can make to uh, configure the import. For example, you can uh, import code samples as MATCAP code snippets. You can convert local links to cross-references. You can import comments. You can even export and import uh, metadata such as conditions. Uh, and you can also export the markdown using a very clean format. So I wanted to show you real quick how to import a documentation set into Flare, create the TOC and build the output. And for that, I've picked the Raspberry Pi official documentation, which is all in markdown. So I have it here on my desktop. I have a folder with a lot of markdown files, and now I'm going to import these into Flare. So going into Flare, picking the markdown plugin to tab, clicking import from markdown, importing a folder, and then I want to pick the folder that I downloaded. Uh, and then I want, it, want to import that one into the content folder and then Raspberry Pi and click OK. Include subfolders. Yes, I want to do that. And now the process is running and we'll probably just skip ahead a couple of minutes until this is done. And now the files have imported successfully. I can see that I have the corresponding folders in Flare, Raspberry Pi, configuration, FAQ, and so on. So now I want to create a table of contents from this folder structure. So I'm going to click Create TOC from Folder Structure. I'm going to pick the Raspberry Pi uh, folder, say OK, and then I'm going to give my TOC a name, which is Raspberry Pi. Uh, let's see if I can click this Save button here. Yeah, there it is. And now I have a TOC file. So now I'm ready to build, but let's have a look at the target first. Sorry, the TOC file. So this is it. It's based on the file structure uh, of the imported file. So it's a pretty nifty way of creating that structure quickly. Now, what I want to do is I want to open my HTML5 target and build an output to see what it looks like. And let's see, we've picked the master TOC. So I'm going to click view and we're going to rebuild it. And here we have the finalized output. Uh, so you get this nice structure from the TOC and you have the content files imported nicely. Um, so there wasn't really much work involved in this. It's about clicking two buttons, importing the files, creating the TOC, building the output. So I suppose three buttons. Um, but um, I wanted to share this with you to say that, you know, this is a cool thing. You can use it to either sort of maintain all of your documentation in Markdown and simply use Flare to build the output, or you can import, say, developer documentation or API documentation and combine it with the existing content you have in Flare and use Flare's powerful publishing features to your advantage. So this is it. Um, you can go to improvementsoft.com to get the latest version. Uh, it's going to be 59 US dollars per year. Uh, anyways, um, this is it. Thanks for watching.